Our News for Jack's I-Team investigation into outrageously high water bills at a local mobile home park continues tonight with another person coming forward saying his water bill for one month was more than $1,400. He says owners of the Three Seasons Mobile Home Park on Jacksonville's west side threatened to evict him as well if he didn't pay. I-Team investigator Tarek Miners here after speaking with that former tenant, Tarek. And this retired Navy sailor tells me he refused to pay this unusually high water bill because an independent plumber he hired didn't find any leaks on his property. Now, because he worked on base at NAS Jacks, he had free legal advice and he ended up going through a two year legal battle with the mobile home park. And in the end, he won his case. She said, well, it's 1400. And I said, excuse me, you know, uh, so obviously that that kind of took my breath away. This retired Navy sailor who requested News for Jack's conceal his identity is talking about a water bill for fourteen hundred and twenty eight dollars that he says he received in 2018 for one month of usage at the Three Seasons Mobile Home Park. Court documents obtained by News for Jack's reveal he had a licensed plumber inspect his home and the plumber determined that there were no signs of any leaks or any other plumbing issues that would cause this much water usage. I was told that mine could have filled several Olympic size swimming pools had the, had the amount of water that they were billing me for actually been produced. And also the plumber added to just just as a little oh, by the way, uh, he said this home, he said, even if you turned on every faucet and both bathtubs and left the toilets running, he said in, in a 30 day period, you would not be able to use this much water. The retired veteran tells News for Jax he feels fortunate that he had legal assistance readily available to him through Naval Station Mayport, providing him with an affordable option to fight the park in a court of law. According to court documents, the park was previously called New Three Seasons. It opened the case against him in October of 2018, and it dragged on until March of 2020, when lawyers for the mobile home park entered a motion to dismiss the case and settle all outstanding legal issues. To this day, the veteran says he still doesn't know why they dropped the case and adds the mobile home park never did any repairs to his water line. He says in his opinion, low-income tenants in his mobile home park aren't equipped financially to fight back. I think they believe the, the folks, the common folk that live in here are uneducated, don't know they have rights. And, it, and that, uh, to put it in simple terms, they'll, they'll be bullied around and they'll, they'll just fold and pay under, under the fear of they're gonna be a victim. You know, uh, like I said, I, um, I'm blessed with some, some opportunities that I have to defend myself as far as legal. Uh, and I got advice, you know, not everybody can afford an attorney. I understand that. Something has got to be done to stop this. This is crazy. This is crazy. Now, I've been in contact with lawyers for the Three Seasons Mobile Home Park, and I'm awaiting their official statement for their side of the story. But it's still unclear why these water bills we've been reporting on are so high. The highest we've heard of nearly $1,700 for one month of usage in a mobile home. News for Jax has identified other tenants with similar accounts. You can guarantee News for Jax will continue to follow this story.